this is the two alum cells cells I made a little lamp here there's four of the 10 millimeter super bright LEDs they're wired in there you can see them through there previously I had four of the original cells all put together in series to run this and I'd say about a little over half as bright as it, as it is now pretty neat it's enough light there to do something with as a night light here we have the Bendini earth light circuit we have number 30 gauge magnet wire by filer wound uh, twisted together before it's put on the uh, the little bobbin there. We have two 2N222s, two, 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 two crystal cells, five LEDs in parallel, and a second 2N222 two, two, two that is hooked up to the solar cells. Now what happens is when the solar cells get a voltage of about seven tenths of a volt it sends the first transistor right to ground and shuts the lights off so when the sun comes up the lights are off when the sun goes down the lights come on you notice if I take my hand put above these solar cells here the lights come on and also the same if we go over here to the light switch lights are on now with this oscillator circuit, these lights are about twice as bright as they were with just the two cells ran directly to them. And we're pulling about half the milliamps. Uh, what we got here is a little printed circuit board. I'm going to go ahead and tidy this circuit up. And then we'll show some amp and voltages. Pretty neat, guys. Okay. I've taken everything and put it on the little circuit board. That's the first time I've done that and it wasn't very hard to do and it came out pretty nice. So we have the Bendini Earthlight circuit with the solar switch hooked to it. I mounted the two solar panels back here. Now from the light here in the room, you see they turn right off, take it out of the light, right back on. In the light, they go off. Out of light, they're back on. Here is a diagram of that circuit using the 2N222 transistors. Now, in Bendini's circuit, it called for an 18K on the base of the one transistor and then a 10K on the base of the second transistor to the positive of the solar panel. I was not able to use those two resistors and get it to work. I ended up using one 100 ohm resistor which corresponds to this one and then I used no resistor here. If I had a resistor here when I put the solar lights into the sun the lights would dim but it wouldn't go all the way to ground. So without that resistor, when we go to the light, it goes to ground and they shut off. So there is the Mendini Earth Light. Thanks for watching. The two newest cells I made, 50% alum, 50% MSO4, which is the Epsom salts moved uh, or cooked to remove the water molecule. I only added a little bit of water when I first made these cells about a week ago and they've been running on penny 24-7 since. I turn it down in the day and then at night I go ahead and I crank her up and it's been working great. Here's where I've been keeping the uh, solar switch Bendini Earthlight cell. At night the lights come right on and this will actually reflect off the mirror here and light pretty much the whole room up at night. It's awesome. This is another oscillator that I built. 
using eight of the super bright LEDs in parallel. It's the John Bandini circuit, bifiler wound coil, one two N two 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 transistor. I have four crystal cells all in parallel. Uh, these are the four part mix all dry uh, these are going on eight or nine months old now and now I'm getting into making these oscillator circuits for these guys and I'm able to get a lot more intensity out of the LEDs Take this up. Oops. Get on there. there we go